10 News found the exact spot where the poinsettia fire started on a Carlsbad golf course and found video that supports investigators claims that it could have been sparked by the swing of a golf club. The 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty now joins us from the La Costa Resort where he pressed golf course officials on what they plan to do to keep these fires from happening again. Dan. Well, investigators think it was either started by that golf club or one of these, a cigar. Now, I know that most people are probably thinking this is the obvious culprit that started the fire back here at La Costa. Well, maybe you should take a look at what we found. That's UC Irvine professor James Earthman working to prove that the simple swing of a club can spark this, the 600-acre poinsettia fire. The investigators now confirm in a new report started right where this video obtained by Team 10 shows on the La Costa golf course. Look how fast it's moving. The report says it wasn't started by an electrical spark or natural causes like lightning, but it didn't rule out a golf club. <laughs> Earthman's study that was published a month and a half before the fire started says that clubs with titanium bottoms can shoot sparks that can easily burn hot enough to start a fire if the club hits a rock. So we toured the course ourselves. We've all heard the reports of how close the fire started from the cart path off of the green of the seventh hole. But when you take a closer look, you can see that it's just feet from pavement to the black charred ground. Certainly the kind of terrain that Earthman is talking about. The report also mentions cigarettes and cigars. Golfers certainly smoke them. They even sell them along the path. But after more than an hour on the cart, we never saw even one ashtray. Same story at dozens of courses in the county. We called around and smoking is allowed at almost all of them, regardless of the fire danger. One golf club did tell me you're not allowed to smoke. Tory Pines in La Jolla, but told me if I did to do it discreetly. Reporting in Carlsbad tonight, Dan Haggerty, 10 News.